and welcome back to Hatching Chicks. I'm Melanie Brooke, Education Program Coordinator for Les Hills Agriculture in the Classroom. Les Hills is a regional effort of the Iowa Ag Literacy Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we're happy to see that you're back on our virtual hatching experience. Uh, if you would like, please leave where you're watching from in the comments below. It's so great to see some regular people show up. Um, we have a couple of uh, people who have seen almost every episode and we think that's just fantastic. So if you're a return visitor, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up so that we know that you're back. Well, today is our incubation period day. This is episode nine, incubation period day, incubation day 15. So on day 15, what's going on inside the shell? The shells pretty much have just been turning back and forth, so it's hard to tell. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what a, uh, our chick might look like today. Here's an image of what our chick might look like today inside of the shell. You can see the eyes, the beak, the wings, the legs. The chick is getting larger and larger and the yolk is getting smaller and smaller. The chick is now filling most of the egg and the remainder of the egg is filled by the yolk, which will become increasingly important between now and the end of the incubation. The white or the albumin is almost completely gone. If we opened the egg, we would see that the beak looks a little bit shorter today and we'd be able to see the egg tooth clearly. Now who remembers what the egg tooth is? Okay. That's right, that's the little part on top of the beak that's going to help the chick break out of its shell. It, when the pipping time comes, that egg tooth is sharp and it will poke, poke, poke the shell and we'll hear a little tip, tip, tip as it starts to break the hard shell. The reason that the beak is going to um, look uh, a little bit shorter today is because the beak's covering is falling away and it's going to expose the egg tooth and it's going to prepare that to hatch. So what's happening to the chick right now? Well, the chick now has everything it needs to hatch successfully. The incubation from this point is all about the process of finalizing its development. Today, the bones, the claw, the skull, and the scales on the legs are all starting to harden. On day 15, it's very important though that the small intestine, the chick's guts, the inside of the chick, which has been outside of the body during this incubation period so far, it starts to be taken back inside of the chick's body. This is a very critical development. Over the next period before hatching, the whole of the yolk will also be taken inside the body cavity. This will give the chick food for its first hours of life. The process which makes this so incredibly important to the chick that it's not helped to hatch before it's ready. It's really important that when um, the shell starts to break that we, not in, that we not speed up the process. If the chick comes out of the egg too early before the gut and the yolk have had a chance to fully absorb inside the body, there's a very good chance the chick will die. Some people like to candle their eggs on day 15 but it is becoming more difficult now in the sense that it's really hard to make out very much detail. The embryo is filling a large portion of the egg and the most of you'll see is the outline of the embryo. Often some large veins in the lighter area at the bottom of the shell can be visible and occasionally you might see movement, but its movement has slowed down quite dramatically. Now that's nothing to be worried about, but just like humans as the babies have less and less room to move, movement slows down. We're going to go ahead and candle these eggs on Sunday, on day 18, when we lock down the incubator. And we'll talk more about what that means to lock down the incubator in future episodes. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned something new. And be sure to tune in tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Have a great day.